Good evening. It's that time in the day to take a look at the weather elsewhere around the world. We've got a big typhoon again sitting in the Pacific and an unusually early storm in the South Pacific. But I'd like to start across Canada and the USA where we've had some big storms, some severe thunderstorms. The warnings are still out across some parts of the Appalachians up into the northeast of the USA and eastern Canada. And the reason we've got this cold air coming down from the Canadian Arctic and still the warm air, the leftover summer air left over the Gulf of Mexico where the two meet. That's where we're seeing these intense downpours, damaging winds and hail, even some tornadoes. And you can see gradually through the night they're pushing further eastwards. And as we move into Thursday, they're still going to be around. And unfortunately, we've got more rain to come across the Carolinas. So it's not great news, unfortunately. And to the north of that, temperatures dip away quite rapidly. We will see a real wintry feel across the north. Now, as we head to India, the weekend brought the remnants of a cyclone across northern states, which has inundated the area with rains flash flooding and although the rain event is finished there's still the risk of avalanches and flash flooding here instead some of the wettest weather is likely to the north of Bangladesh and through the next couple of days across Tamil Nadu and to Kerala and to Karnataka so potential flooding here now this is the typhoon I referred to this is Chami and it's a slow moving system it's a strong typhoon and it's expected over the coming few days we think to brush close by to Taiwan, head across the southern Japanese islands and then make its way towards Japan itself, possibly Korea. But even ahead of it, we're seeing two to three hundred millimetres of rain in the coming few days. So there's a really very wet spell of weather, as it will be across the central Mediterranean, the Ionian Sea, the Adriatic parts, potentially of the Aegean. This is what's being called a medicane which is basically formed because of the warmth over the Mediterranean. We've got these really strong gusty winds for Greece anyway, and we'll start to see a circulation process taking place, low pressure becoming quite ferocious, and it will get a lot of rain, very rough seas, and some damaging winds for northern Africa, and also like the likes of Sicily, parts of Italy, into Greece potentially. So we need to firm up on the details, but it could cause some really nasty conditions with flash flooding. To the north, it's more like autumn. We've got these weather fronts dashing in off the Atlantic to give yet more wet and windy weather across Scandinavia. That's what we've been seeing, more wet weather for the northern side of the UK as well. And those weather systems are going to keep it feeling very autumnal for the next few days. Heavy snow over the mountains, more rain to come in the eastern side of Europe across western Russia. But in between, we've got this high pressure system and fine and dry weather, chilly by night with frost and fog, but really quite warm by day, almost still summer-like. We've had temperatures as close to 40 in Iberia, although those will start to ease off, but we are keeping an eye on the Mediterranean. There'll be more UK weather in half an hour.